Hello and welcome to another West March Guys live stream. I'm your DM, AJ. This is my lovely casting crew. Welcome back a bunch of people. Hello. That. That, that. Yeah. Oh, is he now speaking Dude. by because he's a robot? Oh, uh, what? I thought you said dot, 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 dot. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, so uh, let's get over, get the uh, um, advertisements over with. We're still sponsored by McCarthy Farms. Boop, boop. Uh, and whatever pops up on screen at any point during the session, we don't care. Uh, we we will uh, literally shill anything. <laughs> so um, let's dive into where we left off. Um, you guys had just gone to a ridiculously fancy uh, dinner at the Tower of the Conquered, uh, hosted by Gildas. Um, you learned a lot about each other. Um, Heavy Neck was kind of just his spot was blown up and he was ended up being interrogated. Um, although he came back uh, allegedly squeaky clean. Um, after the uh, awkward dinner was over with, you guys were invited to a brothel or bathhouse to be entertained by like the um, <clears throat> the madam that runs it. Um, whose name was, sorry, I can't remember it, Ezariah. Um, she showed you a lovely night, um, but it in the um, transit uh, between the Tower and the Conquered and the bathhouse, um, Heavy Neck decided he was going to just peace out, and he said he was going to do something that didn't, would, had to deal with uh, Gildas. Um, Sheila let him go, didn't tell anybody, um, and then went to the bathhouse, went to the bathhouse, enjoyed a show, um, Phantasma hooked up with Etrian. Um, Finn was enjoying uh, a lovely evening until it was rudely interrupted um, by Sheila, who had left the brothel and uh, with Jeremy, after returning to the sub, had realized that you guys had been absolutely like fucking ransacked. Um, Talon was dead, dead. Um, everything was stolen out of the safe. The protection glyph that you guys had is completely torn up and like the gems that were even used for it was stolen. Um, Heavy Neck is, has not been contacted since he last said that he was going to start like say something to Sheila. Um, and you guys had gotten off the ship after realizing, oh, sorry, um, Sheila brought Finn and Fantasma all the way back. You guys all figured it out. And then you guys got off the ship and realized that like you needed to fix it. You called in Xander, who uh, was like in the middle of a game. Um, however, um, you guys caught his interest and said you needed his help. He was in. You guys gave him a little bit of a down, a little bit of a deposit. Um, we're gonna say that that was a legit one for now, even though I was supposed to say a lot more um, platinum. However, um, Xander is gonna get away with a lot, but. I, either way, uh, you guys brought Nocton along in this sort of like um, frozen and carbonite plate that hovered around um, that contained your friend still kind of hibernating. And um, no, wait, no, we didn't move him. You left him with Julia. Yeah, he was. He's still at Xander's. Yeah, so he's still at Xander's. Um, but Xander was sent back um, after uh, with the money, um, and you guys uh, got onto Bryden's ship and decided to get a long rest even though it was kind of out in the open uh and hopefully figure out um where the fuck heavy neck went and where all the shit that you had went um, so without further ado um uh Finn. actually wait uh after Xander uh gets to gets back to his place. He he will return. Um Julia. Yeah. <clears throat> As you're sitting there uh watching the vitals just kind of like tick away, uh you see that like you're like you're looking like at the clock absentmindedly and you like you finally look and you're like, oh my god, wait, shit. Like the, the countdown timer is literally like fucking minutes. Uh, Xander, like you, you go out and you call Xander, and he's like, "What? Uh, I like, I was just getting to sleep, Julia. What are you doing awake?" No, 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 no. It's the the thing. It's beeping. It's uh, it's 
Oh yeah. Uh, well, he's he's done basically. Well, what um, do we do now? Well, we should probably call your friends uh, and get him over here because they're gonna need to collect him. So, uh, uh, one second, um, Finn, you're gonna be rudely interrupted at like 1 a.m. Like, hey, buddy, um, your friend's almost out of the oven. Do you want to come and get him? Yeah, uh, wait, when when I'm uh, done sleeping, how about? Is that all right? Yeah, no. It, it, that's, We're that... Obviously, as you know, dealing with some shit, and I can't. This is probably the last good night of sleep I'm going to get for a while. Oh, right. Yeah. Right, yeah. Sorry, I'm still awake. Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Hey, give, um... give me like, well, I don't know, like three, four hours. I'll be good. Okay, all right. Um, hey, Julia, just hit pause on that. No, don't, don't, don't hit pause. No, it's fine. It's not. It's not going to do anything. It's just going to keep him in there for longer. He's completely sedated. It's fine. Oh, yeah. I want to do a big deal for what when he hit here, you know. Um, yeah. All right. Well, c come right away because he'll, he'll be ready when whenever you get here. Yeah. Good. Uh, do you find those rubies? Oh boy, did I find your rubies! You're gonna owe me a huge favor, by the way. Just saying. Um, yeah, you got it. Any anything you want. Good night. Yeah. Okay. Bye. <laughs> um, Xander has a backpack full of six hundred uh gold pieces worth of rubies shoved into. It's like literally like a shitty leather backpack, nice. and he like throws it on the ground. Looks at you, Julian. Is is just like, <sighs> you know, homeless people a lot more useful. Um. When you threaten them, and yeah, then just most like most people goes, are, he goes, "Yeah, did you hit pause?" Yeah, I already I hit it when you said it. Okay, he's I'm going just to like blinking. These are yours now, and he just like kicks the bag <laughs> over to you. Julia looks at it like, "The fuck am I supposed to do with these?" And then just like ties it up. It, and he's like, he's like just throwing himself into the bed. He's like. You're supposed to use it to. We're gonna fix the glyph because it's fucked. And then, like, by the time he hits the like the bed, he's out. Yeah, because you know that's my expertise. Whatever. Okay. okay. She just like sits back in the like recliner next to the pod and just kind of like passes out. Yeah, and you got uh, you can get a full night's rest. Um, because I I'll say that alarm woke you up. Just to like make sure that like the ending was set right, um, but then you can quickly go back to bed. The rest of you also can go back to bed. Um, you guys wake up harshly to the sounds of blaring trumpets, and you hear screaming from the top at the top of his lungs from the docks. You can hear plain as day. <clears throat> You all have one breath to tell me exactly why I am missing priceless artifacts from my ge and gems from my trophy room. I want to see everyone that attended last night's evening event now. How and how far are the docks? It booms across the entire docks. Is it like a, a thousand feet or less? Yeah, I'd say so. All right. I don't know if I made this to scale. I think I did. Yeah, kind of. So, you're talking three thousand feet. Okay. If I'm gonna, or Finn's gonna uh, get up real quick, and if if he sees where Gildas is, oh, he is right here. Hold on, you can't damn it, ruler, right in the middle. Okay. All right. We're like pretty close to that, right? Yeah. You guys. I mean, he walked to where your guys's boats were. That's why. I mean, he's extra loud. Oh, okay. In that case, I'm gonna miss you. Step down there. I'm gonna miss you. Step onto the docks. Okay. Nice. Um, hold on. Where is? Hmm. Gold sails. Oh, here it is. Um. Why can't I? This is so stupid. Just want his character. I want to. I want to. Jesus. There we go. Fuck it, finally. All right, so there's Gildas, surrounded by all of his little goonies. 
Uh, I'll say that your guys' ships are like kind of clustered in this area right here. So All right. he's about right here. All right, Finn's gonna um, Missy step onto the docks, and he's right. gonna he's gonna <clears throat> approach, you know, gingerly. Okay, Gildas is in full plate mail, golden as shit, with a white uh, long cape. Uh, he has his like insanely uh, like gleaming platinum long sword. He has his shield already drawn, and there are like seventeen. Eh, there's like uh, maybe two scores worth of like armed paladins that are like flanking behind him. And he and, like he sees you, and he points his sword because he was just pointing it in the air arbitrarily. Mm -hmm. Good, here now. Uh, what are you yeah. doing? The rest of you, what are you doing? Oh, I'll make my way there <laughs> slowly and carefully. Julia didn't, Julia didn't go. Sheila, you attended. Fantasma oh. was going to go and be like, oh, God, oh, this is going to be bad. Oh. All right. Come on, Sheila. Magma. We better go. This is my neck feels terrible. Uh, so the rest of you guys get out and start to saunter over to the rest of the ship. Um, Captain Bryden and the rest of the uh, captains um also pile in or onto the docks and start to get like fall in line. Um, Gildas is just like you could the veins in his neck will not go down. I mean, he is just be on fucking pissed he goes i want to hear an explanation now why am i missing things and where is this is not all that was here probably the same reason that we're also missing things our ship was also ransacked last night which is why we slept on this one yeah your ship was ransacked Yes, which is quite confusing, seeing as nobody should know where our ship was. But alas, it was. Uh, wow, he rolled a natural one. Hell yeah. Uh, on his insight. Doesn't matter. I mean, you're telling the truth. Um, he goes... It's a plus it goes 22 to insight. No, fuck? 13. plus 13. Well, how did I get a 23 on a natural one? Oh, because Heavy Neck has... Um... Oh, it's because Heavy Neck has the... Okay, all right, never mind. I was just uh, like, no, the fuck? That was... Sorry, that was Heavy Neck's insight. I didn't do Gildas's, my bad. I mean, the one can stay, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's, no, it's still a it's still natural one, but like his insight is actually nine. So he would have got a ten. <laughs> that's so fun. I don't know. Sorry, I was just like, that's such a high number, for, and it's red, yeah. and I'm like, Heavy Neck has reliable talent. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, um, he, he looks. He goes. So, if you were missing things, I'm assuming that you try to locate our little gnome friend. I have absolutely no idea where he is and if you have any idea where he is i would love to know i've had my 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 maester checking all night we cannot seem to locate him or the objects that he's stolen allegedly stolen there was only you the, a lot of fingers point in his direction Oh, I agree, mine included. But it is still allegedly, and I would like to hear his explanation. Well then, I suggest you come with me. Gladly. We can use your expertise. Maybe we miss something in the tower. And if we don't find anything in the tower, we'll move to the town. He can't have gone far. Men... You better have a good update. And there's like one guy next to us. We already have three three troops sweeping the streets. Don't worry, we're we're, we're put going into every home. Don't worry, like we're leaving no door unopened, sir. Yep. 
Your Majesty, has anybody checked from an aerial view? I don't believe we have. Finn, it, like, before he's done with that sentence, Finn sprouts wings and just bolts okay. up. All right, so you... Uh, he is taken by surprise and a little in awe as Dishy's... Hmm. Impressive. But you guys are not out of the woods yet. But come why not? Me. Why not? Yeah. Not big girl. Because you were with him. Would have, I don't know if you told him to do this. Why would I, like, tell him to do this? I don't know. You guys seem a little crazy. Well. And you run with individuals that are untrustworthy. Uh, Magmar might be untrustworthy, but I, like, so trustworthy. I was not judging your trustworthiness. We've already can I know that boundary. I'm I'm quite the trustworthy girl. I know you. Uh, so you guys uh, will walk up towards the Tower of the Conquered as like during well, this conversation takes place. Uh, once you're in the Tower of the Conquered, uh, he leads you up to the third the third story until you get to the trophy room. He goes, "Well, see can, what my meister cannot." Can Finn land in a window like on the third floor, wherever they are? <laughs> Yeah, well, I mean, if you want, like, you, as you're, like, spinning around and taking that look, they're walking. So, like, do you want to, like, meet up with them as, because you can see them heading towards the tower. Um, or if you let them enter, then you can just go on a window. Yeah, if if there's a window, like, on the third floor, I'd rather just meet them up there. Uh, yeah, yeah there would be one, like, the, uh, the staircases have, like, uh, just big enough windows that you could kind of, like, squeeze into. All right, I'm gonna sque- I'm gonna squeeze through the window as they're like coming up the stairs. Nice. Okay. And like as we're like walking up there, can I just I just want to like consciously like keep an eye out for like anything that I think would be out of the ordinary. Okay, so roll perception. Twenty-two. I mean, the only thing out of the ordinary is from last night is the tripled amount of guards that are standing duty around the entire area. Like from the walk up to the from the stables all the way to the door inside, it's crawling with them Like you can't like you see just looking around as like you're in the staircase for them. OK, so, like it's just there is a heightened presence They and they're turning everything over. They're like the one dude is trying to look busy and just like moving a vase. And you like, right. oh, I guess it's not back there. Okay. But I guess oh, maybe. Um but yeah, just the heightened presence of uh, like surveillance. Okay. Uh, but you guys, uh Finn, you can squeeze up. <clears throat> oh, I was wondering when you were gonna show up. As like he like as you can hear him coming up the staircase, um, echoing their footsteps echoing. Um, eventually you guys can like rejoin and at the um, into the dining room area with the throne room he goes well this is the scene of my crime what can you see and he like takes a couple steps steps back and just crosses his arms all right finn's gonna cast true seeing all right and he's gonna do it like very visibly He's going to do it very visibly, and his eyes are just going to, like, invert colors. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little a little smile comes across Gildas's face. we we'll continue. Uh, what, do I see anything? Like, do I notice anything? What are you looking for specifically? Uh, what's, I'd say, like, the on its face, um, the window is glowing with some sort of magic, um, the, well, not some sort. I whatever would be protective. I don't know what okay. I, is that arbitration. I don't know what shield is. Uh, conjuration. Conjuration. So the window has conjuration magic on it. Um, there is an alarm spell that is like basically running all along the entire length of the room. Uh, the trophy room is just kind of this like big kaleidoscope of different colors because there's just magical shit all throughout that thing. You'd have to get like a close <clears throat> look be able to see the individual parts of it um and then i'd say the like 
a lot of the silverware and the chandelier are also magical. Okay. Uh, so the first thing Finn's going to say is, all right, I see something on the window. I see something on the floor. And um, what I'm guessing is an alarm spell. And so if he would have come in here, that would have tripped that, no? It should have. But unfortunately... It, is there a way that he could have come in here without it? Open due to servants who are no longer with us. So, even though allegedly... He could have gone in. Oh, there's a chance he could have gotten in, and there's a chance that those servants could have stolen something. We found every servant that was in attendance, and we searched their stuff, and there was nothing there. And we don't have much room. Um, The other thing that Finn is discreetly searching for is any sign of that tether. Okay, so that like wispy sort of blue string that just kind of floats around. Yep. Um, Is Jeremy with you? Jeremy is back in the sub. Okay, so you look around, nothing. No wisps, no... I mean, there is blue, but it's all like solid objects and stuff. All right, um, Finn's going to go over to the trophy room. Okay, Uh, yes. Uh, Let me show you exactly what he stole. Um, Finn, Finn wants to see if he can figure it out before he says it. <laughs> okay, so roll perception. Okay. Nope. Ooh, nope. <laughs> you're looking around and you're just like, God, there's a lot of cool lights. Like there's that so much glowing. Yeah, like, he's. So I guess the only thing he's really gonna remember then is the uh, is uh, Slim Tangle's head on the wall. Yeah. Is that yeah. is that still there? Uh, yes, that is still there. Okay. All right. Well, he didn't steal. He didn't steal his doppelganger's head. So, no. He. I assumed he, because he was short. Well, I mean, if I was going to steal something, that's one of the things I would steal, probably. Not a bad assumption. Let me show you what he did steal. Any like gestures to this like empty marble uh, pillar that has a little plaque that reads "Dragon's Eye Ruby." Has a little description that says it's supposed to be a two foot in diameter ruby. Interesting. Um, he then like takes a few steps over to where like the because it's kind of um, the trophy room is on a U designed in a U shape. Um, he does turns the corner and he then gestures to a little plaque on the wall that has a little like name that's um, the arcane uh, demon dagger. And let me guess, this had rubies in it as well. It did have one. Well, it had it. It seemed to be a eye that lived in the pommel that would look to be made of ruby, but it moved around. Um, All right, sensing a theme then, here. Yeah, and then he like takes like he's like, uh, I should have we walked past it. Can you just scoot back, Sheila? If you just could peek over there, and it's like uh, an empty uh, bust of like a blank mannequin head, and it was a magical amulet made of gems. Mm. I don't know if I can't remember if it was like a big ruby. It was just a bunch sapphires, emeralds. Ru- there definitely was rubies in it. Cat adventure. Guess what we're missing. Gems. Primarily rubies, but yes, gems. Mm. Including a couple significantly large diamonds, which is... Mm, yep. Believe gems. not found his way into my actual vault. Are you sure? Trust me, I checked. Alright. I have... A number of guards standing watch. Well, have you checked recently? Yeah, he's a sneaky son of a bitch, so. He just. Should we he, check right now? Guys, uh, he goes, unfortunately, I don't think I want to show you exactly where my safe is. So you haven't checked. No, I'll I, be real with you. That's very, that's completely fair. I'm having it checked now. Hey, so with all Glad your, we reminded uh, you. So can you uh, see anything, or are you just wasting time? 
Have you, uh, has anyone tried to scry on Heavy? Do you have a crystal ball around here or something that's worth a thousand gold? Or like a mirror? Don't you, Magmar? I don't. So how have you <laughs> been scrying? <laughs> we did like a whole session to get you a crystal ball. Yeah, we like. Oh, you no, have, we did. You, oh, I have yeah, one. You have a fire, like a, you have I a do. crystal ball with a fire in it. That's right. That's right. I forgot about that. Holy fuck. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna pull this out real quick and try to see if he's clever <laughs> enough. He, he's been he's stealing gems. Crystal ball. Oh wait, I have it. Oh wait, yeah. sorry, I forgot. Oh my god, are you, you gonna do a cleric thing? You I mean like the, this I, thing? I I wore the right pants today. I, I sorry, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna try and scry on him. Um, I'll have to make a wisdom save of 18. Okay. Oh shit! I just closed. Oh no, I just minimized everything on my computer. That's so weird. Spell comes back, nothing. Dang it. Well, I'm not picking up anything. So it's very possible if he's clever enough with all the gems he Does he have any protection against that sort of thing? Because I also had my maester check. I don't. I mean, he there he knows a way to, and he's now has all the material. But he, is he really that smart? I he he had honestly clever. No, but he has his moments that shocks all of us. Clever, so but yes, smart. Idiot. No, right. That what Finn said. I'd let him under my home and let him keep my clothes. To be fair, we really didn't think he was going to do this either. He seemed the type. I'm sure he well, understands what would have happened if I found out. So I'm not entirely sure what he thinks he's he what he would think he was doing with this. Because where would he go? Are you sure he's not working for Thaddeus? A heavy neck? Absolutely not working for Thaddeus. And there's, no, there's no way. The amount of Thaddeus's men that he has killed, and the amount that Thaddeus has tried to kill him, there's no way. Has, he also seems like he kills a lot. Well, yes. Kind of, kind of runs. With so the really, crew. that's moot. Look, if you guys want, you can start at the top of the tower that I will show you. We'll see a week, and you guys can help me investigate. But <clears throat> yeah, I have this for another two not, hours. So you guys haven't shown me anything. My mages ha can't already do. So please, and he just like gestures like out into the main area of the dining room. Hands to yourself, Sheila. Um. So no touch, no touch. As you guys start to get to the top of the tower, um, we are going to uh, do a little montage as you guys start to like just kind of like walk, pace the uh, like every hallway, every doorway, look up, look down, fly around. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, smart, Julia. Yes. You are awoken by Xander. Uh, hey. What? Hey. What? I'm calling your friends now. Wake up. Oh. Hey, Finn. <laughs> Finn, it's Xander. You. you your eyes, his eyes twitching. Come, <laughs> come, come, collect your your artificer. We, are we are unfortunately in the middle of. Some shit. Can you can't get like, to? Can you can't get like, to the ship without me? Can't like you just break away for a second. Uh, just, I I can't remember. Does Xander have a teleportation circle in his new lab? He, he does technically. Okay. All right. <sighs> All right. I will. <laughs> uh, I'll be there shortly. Okay. Uh, when we go back, just before I think, well, I'm trying to plan here. 
Are we going back to the ship? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Then, uh, yeah, Julia, just, we're gonna have to prep him for, like, moving. She's um, already, like, right. doing things, moving things. Uh, yeah, so they're gonna, I really like the idea of him turning into Han Solo, Frozen, and Carbonite, but it's just, like, a full, just, like, door panel that just, like, comes Hell out yeah. and starts, like, floating horizontally as, as, like, Xander's, like, pushing a bunch of buttons to make sure that, like, the uh, stabilization has actually happened and, like, he's he's good to go. Um, as uh, he w waits, um, he goes, yeah, okay, uh, wait, wait, ready when you are. Like, probably about, like, ten minutes later as you guys are getting to the fourth floor. Uh, Finn's just going to be like, I know this is not the most opportune moment, but I have a matter to mean? attend to. I um, will... This seems... Pretty important. What are you doing? Uh, we had to resurrect a friend of ours, and I have to bring him back. Is he useful at finding things? Can he help find the gnome? He actually is pretty useful at finding things. That's I'm hoping that he is up well, and able to do so. All right. Yeah. Yes. Fine. But please hurry. <laughs> Of course. I'm so sorry. Uh... Nobody else is leaving. <laughs> Mages, remember his face. You're yeah, hey, here, yeah. I mean, ask anyone. Everyone who's seen me <laughs> fucking remembers it. Nice. Alright, uh, cool. Yep. So Finn's gonna just sit there and spend a minute drawing a fucking circle through Xander's lab. Could you please just before like you like you start to like draw it on like the stone? It's like, could you? It washes. It's fine. It washes. I'll wash it myself. Fine. I, you, know, what, it... you mages and your bullshit. Uh, as he just like steps over the line you're in the middle of drawing. Um, let us all continue looking for the thief that may or may not still be in this tower. Do you have do you have one of these circles here that I could just like come back via that? Uh, with that persuasion check, I'll allow that to carry over. Um, yes, yes, I, I do. I do. If you, do. if you really need, I'll, I'll have one of the mages talk to you when you come back. No, I mean like so that when I so that when I want to come back, I can just do that instead of coming back and then learning about it. My. It would be much faster. So, do you want me to show him to the rooms? As long as you fucking hurry, yes. Show him <laughs> to the rooms. Come with me, sir. Does anyone have he, haste? Just he, puts a... <laughs> his, he puts oh. his hand on your shoulder. And you see, for the first time, yeah. like, a glint of any humanity as he winks at you, and then a dimension door happens as a trap door falls beneath your feet, and he just... <laughs> uh, you are, I don't know if you're caught off guard by it, but you are then <laughs> dropped, um, like, two stories down into, like, a little more of the personal area for Gildas, and uh, it is a small little room that has uh, two teleportation circles in it. Perfect. Thank you. Well, I did not know you could do that. Thank you for doing that. Um, I am capable of doing many things. <laughs> good to know. Uh, which one of these is for in? Is there like an in one and an out one? Or are you like, does it matter? This one, and he like mage hands uh, to point to the one on the left. He's like, is to get to here. This one's to get to here. That one's to get to to leave. There. No. That one is to go to somewhere else. Oh, interesting. I didn't know they made those. Please. All and right. he just illusions a like black <laughs> like a uh, circle to like opaque to like opaquely cover it so you can't see it. He's like, please go to pink. All right. And then Finn's just gonna like sit there and draw that circle and then he's gonna like make his own circle to go to xander's okay perfect all right it's thank a, you bye yep it's, you all is, oh, fuck you <laughs> <laughs> tells me i'm old and 
I know he thinks it. Um, all right, so you <laughs> teleport back to Xander. Xander is like already on his third cup of coffee and he's just like playing around with like some weird like like puzzle game that's a hologram in his hand. He's like, oh finally, Jesus. Oh Julia. Yo Julia I'm yeah, right like, here. She's like standing yeah, below right. him. <laughs> if oh, you look God. down, fuck steak. Oh, sorry. Oh God. I you think this coffee would wake me up. So was it was out late. Speaking of Finn, you owe me real big because I know, I, I know, I do. I will get you whatever you need. In the meantime, I am in the middle of convincing a pirate king not to level our entire fleet. So if we can go, let's do that and talk on the way. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, then, uh, uh, all right. Yeah, sure. Wait, wait, wait. Here, here, look, Nocton's here. Let's go. He hey, like, Nocton. Oh, he's he's out. All right. <laughs> Uh, brace yourself because Dead Tolland is probably still on the ground. Oh shit! Oh, yeah. cool. It's just like, oh fuck. All right. Uh, so. All right. Um. Oh, damn, using up all my fucking high level shit. Well, you're not for yep. nine. All right. So you come back. <laughs> now, Can I now assume we're that the... you have not taken a close look at me. I I have not. I have just looked at the fucking thing. I'm like, it's it's pretty, go. <laughs> it's pretty fogged in the mirror. And like you're the, like frozen space. and carbonate ish. Oh, so, oh yeah, so right. Okay, yet? I'm not out yet. Got yeah. Just like, it. Xander Xander knows what pageantry is, so he's like got like he even put extra like speed <laughs> that comes out. Um, because right. there, it, it is drastically different. Um, uh, but you can appear on the ship, and he goes, yeah. Um, I remember this. This is fucked. Uh, Nocton, you stay here and like moves him over, and he's like, "I'm Julia." He's yes. probably start crushing those gems. Is uh is Dead Talon still on the floor? Yep. All right. First thing Finn's gonna do is go, Jeremy. Oh, hey guys. Oh my god. Hey, you're here. What's up? Hey, Finn. What's going on? Uh, I didn't Finn touch Jeremy. Like, all right. Sorry, I didn't touch Talon. Like you said. Finn still has his eyes up, and he's going to look at Jeremy and see if there's uh, any tether. So, um, wrapped, like, it's like that thin little, uh, like, streak that kind of, like, hangs off of him. It looks as if it's pulling in, like, you know, a direction, but then it just starts twisting in the wind as if it's, like, being, like, if it's, like, a candle wick that's just been blown out. This, it, like, just kind of, like, Starts at his head, swips around to his like his elbow, whips around to his hip, like then moves down onto the ground and moves back to the on top of his head. But it looks like the tether isn't like been no cut. longer tethered. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, this is interesting. What do you mean interesting? Yeah. So there's a tether that connects Jeremy and Heavy Neck. Heavy Neck is missing, by the way, um, oh, cool. and. Is and the tether, the tether seems to have been severed. Uh, which, if Heavy Neck was dead, then the then the tether would lead to his dead body, I assume. So I'm gonna have Maybe. to go ahead and assume that Heavy Neck is not on this plane. That would be the safe assumption, because I, I mean, oh shit, that or he has something that has the ability to like protect him from that. Which I assume probably like maybe like like you could definitely get something like a protect what you guys had here probably would do the same thing, but he wouldn't know how to do that. But somebody working for Gildas might. Maybe that's a good point. Yeah, how much do you trust Gildas? I don't. Not as far as I can spit, and I can't spit very far. So uh, not a spitter, nor a swallower. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> nice. Well, no, uh, nobody ever okay. called me a quitter. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, if I want to get working, I'm gonna have to like move in a little bit. So, um, I'm gonna it's yours. Here. Yeah. Uh, he hits a few buttons on the bottom of Nocton's little floating platform, and a bu it just collapses bottomed, and then like plants itself in the ground, and then has a bunch of fold out panels that then you, you see like. Basically, like a like it's a, a half lab. of his little yeah, it's his mobile lab. So it's like a couple <laughs> screens, and then it's got a bunch of like different little like ports and compartments at the bottom that look like they like contain all of his other stuff. Um, 
Nocton is like on the other side of it, like almost like an operating table, um, just like still again, just like for floating horizontally. Um, Ju Julia, how are you tracking? I mean, she's I mean, really smart. I mean, I've 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 done some of it. I have a pretty you... good eye for it. All right, can you help us find Heavy Neck? Yeah, so I'm pretty sure we... everything hinders on this. All right. Well, uh, yeah, sure. We can. I'll definitely give it my best. Is Knocked On done yet? Can we oh, like? Yeah, he, I mean, he's done. Done. I mean, do you want to see the reveal, or do you want to wait for everybody? Um, I mean, I would like to take him to where he needs to be, because we could use his help as well. Because I know he has uh, his own things for finding things and people and other things. All right, all right, fine. I kind of wanted more people to be here, but that's cool. All right, so oh, what is this a funny. show? Is this a show? I have something called taste. And he hits a button and it all claps really quick. And you watch like the thing slowly start to like <laughs> float upwards. And the, like you could almost swear that like, there's this like sort of like synthy bassy music playing as it's slowly tilting upwards. And as it gets to fully like 90 degrees, he comes in, just hits a button and you watch like a blue line just kind of like fused, like a pierced from the top down to the bottom. And then you watch as it opens steam and fog just starts to billow out on the floor and all around it there's backlighting coming from like so just his silhouette through this whole thing <laughs> Finn is yes. just side-eyeing Xander so hard like Xander's sitting there like he's just like he's not even looking at you just like yes yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what taste taste okay <clears throat> all right as stepping out from the fog. Nocton, would you please describe yourself? But could you describe yourself as if you're seeing like a leg and then a leg and then like your oh, torso? Oh, yeah, and I, I, I got that. Yeah, hold, okay, hold, hold on. Don't, don't, don't do it to me. Let, let, let me just let, let Finn just be like, wow. All right, let's go. And then you can describe it to everyone else. <laughs> okay. okay, so you'll see it hobbling up into the, the, the second story when you guys get there. Um, oh, all right. How you feeling, bud? Like new. <laughs> That's all right. Bye, Xander. Jeremy. Take care. Jeremy. Yeah, what's up? Fucking stay here. I'm not. <sighs> I'm fine. Is there like I, I I overheard it clearly isn't going well. No, it clearly is not going well. Uh, you know I can help. I oh, have very good at finding things. You're you're good at find. How do you? How would you even know that? You don't remember anything. Yeah, I can find everything, and I can remember everything when Talon was talking about it, and he's already started to tear up. And like, I just think it would be good if I wasn't on the ship around Talon. Tell you what, if I bring you, you might just fucking die. Do you want to come anyway? Kinda. I'm just kidding. I don't. That's a bad joke. I don't want to die. I really want to kill a heavy neck though, so if you find him, can I kill him? I mean, I'm about to kill him, so sure, why the fuck not? I don't give a shit. Okay, cool, I'll hold you to it. I'm not gonna leave the ship though. Then before we move, would you care to explain this? Oh yeah. No yeah, Tallinn's yeah. dead. I'm gonna immediately, uh, not gonna immediately walks by, like steps over Tallinn's body, and walks to his lab. Which is trashed. Oh, yeah, your lab is trashed. Oh, look in the vault, too. It's fucking empty. Let's go. <laughs> Nocton, you have but a moment to see this. Your beautiful, organized lab has been just completely fucked over. The first thing oh. <laughs> I would like to see if it's missing is the plans for the atomic weapon. Ooh. You go, do, I'm assuming you had it in a fairly out of the way place. It was, it was, it was not like plastered to the wall. I specifically put it out of the way and somewhat hidden. You go run and you like, look around Your plans are there <laughs> and your passive cause you had, cause I'll finally use your passive investigation 
as you're looking around just for the plans, you you start to notice that your lab like wasn't like looted. It was like somebody purposely like somebody personally had to been fucking with you. Like like this was done with malice. I'm gonna say this like, lab was was not looted. This was the stuff, the, the stuff that you think is missing is broken. This was intentionally vandalized. No, you don't say. And they just destroyed our protection glyph on purpose? <laughs> no, I am saying that things that were extremely valuable were not stolen. They were simply broken. Cool. Can we use those for the protection glyph? <laughs> no. All right. Well, great. Well, can we go? Yes. Okay. All right. So as you guys are... Do, 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 do. Uh, speed walking back to the Tower of the Conquered. The rest of you. The reason we're not teleporting back? Oh, uh, yeah, we. There... No, there's, there's not a reason, but Finn is out of fifth and sixth level spells, so it's just teleport now. Yep. All right. And we're going to teleport right back to the, um, uh, to the dining hall. Okay. So you, you were, uh, like immediately, like, Swarm, not swarmed, like within like melee, but like a bunch of paladins surround you. Go, halt! He goes, "Who is this?" I am Captain Finnick of the uh, Terror of the Deep. We know who you are. Who is that? And what? Wait, what is that? I have brought these people here to help search for the missing gnome. <laughs> Gildas is... knows about it. If it's an issue, you can take it up with him. I swear to God, like, you see this, like, towering, like, just, like, pitch black humanoid just come over, smack the shit out of this dude's helmet. He goes, I swear to God, if you forget what we're supposed to be doing, I'm going to throw you out of the top of the fucking tower. Come with me, Finn. Captain. And he just, like, you know, gestures to the door uh, and will lead you, like, there. He's like... They have made it all the way to the second floor. Again, finding nothing. Um, you guys get, you guys can hurry your way down. Um, what did it look like as the rest of you guys were investigating two stories of this place? Like Magmore. Like she I, like, have I had one honestly in my head? Um, I just wanna, I don't know, cause like we've, I said, I mean, since we've just been living with heavy neck for a long ass time, so like any kind of indication or maybe like a clue he could have left behind for us specifically, hopefully telling us that like a reason or like okay, roll an investigation check. I know what you're going for. 19. I none of his normal dick vandalization vandal vandalizing. Um okay. but I mean this Chill this place is pristinely kept. So like right, right. But you're doing a like with a with a 19, like you're like being very thorough with making sure that you're checking all the places and you like you even hear a bunch of like hushed like Oh, I never thought to look at that. As like you're just like pulling two bushes away that like lead mm -hmm. to like a little service vet. And you're like, we could have like you know, right? Okay. Closed, but yeah, you know, sort of those sort of things. Sheila, what are you doing? I think Sheila is just going to do an investigation around Bagmore. Okay. What are you investigating for specifically? I'm looking for any telltale signs that Heavy Neck would have left me, like little inside jokes or. Notes. Okay, so the same thing that Magmore is doing. All right, yeah, that's fair enough. Uh, I'll say you guys can tag team it. Roll another one. Can we? Can I like give her head. advantage? No, I'm saying Sheila rolls this one. Like, yeah, no, no, no. I'm not. This is the advantage you guys are getting on the same roll. No, nah. oh. <laughs> damn. Sheila, you're spending more time trying to flirt with Gildas than yeah. than you are actually investigating for Heavy Neck. Um. Maybe just trying to get a read on, uh, like him. Uh, he, but he is having none of it, and is like, at this point, you, you'll say something. He just doesn't even like look or respond to you. 
I'm just gonna turn to Julia and be like, well, first of all, I fucking suck at looking for things right now. And second is I cannot get a read on this dude. Yeah. <laughs> um so Nocton, question. Does it make noise when you move that is like not typical? Like is it like out of place? Hey, have we all seen you yet? Not no, yet. You. That's what okay. I'm leading to. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Um like we're not in this configuration, yes. Okay, all right. So, um, as you guys are like, as Gildas is ignoring one of Sheila's come ons, um, his ear, like his head, like sort of perks up. He goes, What is that sound? And you all look down a very long hallway and cresting around the corner, coming into view about like 40 to 50 feet away from you. Nocton, would you please describe what you look like now? Um, you see walking down the hall towards you a very tall humanoid in a large, rather nondescript cloak. However, every step I take um, is a, a lot more uh, intense in terms of like vibrations in the floor and just overall sound. So not entirely metallic but also not uh like a barefoot or even boots stepping on it so it's much stiffer and more rigid uh almost clunky and you hear some whirring and some humming as uh i start to get closer you you can see that it's it's me but you only see sort of half of my face, and the other half is sort of like this this weird green glow. Um, and as I walk towards you, I say, greetings. It is wonderful to be back with all of you. Oh, Jesus Christ. Nocton? Nocton! So good to see. Are you okay, buddy? I believe uh, the definition... The definition of okay uh, implies feel? that I am alive, yes. I feel <laughs> like a new creation. That's a very nice answer. Xander You're doing do okay. To you. <laughs> Xander only repaired me. I uh, guided most of, most of the modifications. I see. So you wanted this. So I'm much closer to you all, and you can now see... The, the wait, hold on. How could I get my one half of my face looks relatively normal, um, but it is very scarred. So where I had like a deep blue skin, now there are these white streaks and patches, basically covering half of my face. And the other half, uh, there's a large green uh, disc covering one half of my face in place of one of my eyes. And you can see that almost my entire jaw is made of metal. Hmm. Are you comfortable? I. It only look... hurt for several days while I was getting repaired. It no longer hurts. That is impressive. That's uh, good. You look exactly like you, not uh, It's glad to see that you're up in a. That is an. Uh, an excellent attempt at uh, reassurance. However, you are incorrect, and I'm just gonna rip off the cloak. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, one, one, one minute. Can you share the the image? You show us the photo. I think I, um, here. If you got, I want to post it to the Facebook group. Oh, that works. Yeah, I can do it there too. Let's get it. On, baby. I've got it on hand if you, if you need to. I got it. Boom. Um, Dear God. Nocton, what the... F so You wanted that? <clears throat> this was that not, is not a person. So much a desire as a requirement. Are you technically a human now? Or like a like a warforged cyborg? I Thing. I'm yeah. approximately uh, approximately thirty seven percent 
of what I once was. However, I believe that this is mostly an improvement. So for uh, the audience, um, essentially right. the lower half of my left hand side of my body is just not there. Hold it's, on, just... it's empty. Um, there are claws. Uh, for those of you who knew 17, you can see portions of 17 that is permanently fused to my back. And 17's legs are wrapped around my body and like going through my new armor into my torso. Um, that does not work. I'll have I'm it up to... on the screen in a second. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm trying to create a document. But... There are tubes and pipes that uh, various liquids are running through. Um, and my left hand is a pretty intense claw. Oh, my my kopesh is attached ah! to it permanently. And uh, you can see in the blue parts of the skin that you see are are permanently scarred. Like it's I am scarred over the remaining bits of my body. I have uh a new gauntlet on my other hand that is pulsing with various colors of some sort of arcane power, and my right leg is entirely artificial. Well, that is a sight to behold. Now you say it like Gildas walks up to you, Nocta, and like cutting you off from the rest of the group. Um, they said that you were good at finding things. I am good at observing. We will see if that assists in discovery. Find the gnome known as Heavy Neck. That isn't quite how it works. However, show me the areas that you are missing objects from. We need to go up a floor and go up to the dining room. So Lead the way. All right, so... Um, Fit, finish like, where, you, where we just came from. Yeah, where you, you, you guys were just in the dining room. Um, well, uh, the rest of you, uh, the only thing left is the first floor. Maester uh, and Captain, go take them down. Uh, I will see to you quickly. What do you call yourself? I am knocked on. And knocked on. Come with me. You're flanked by eight guards, and you make your way up to the third floor. Um, and you guys can get to the dining room. Um, he shows you the trophy room, and he shows you the three areas that Heavy Neck allegedly stole. Um... The three items were a two foot in diameter size dragon ruby, a um, demon dagger that had a, a, a an alive ruby eye, and then a uh, gem encrusted um, priceless necklace. I'm going to cast detect magic and okay, I'm it's to find... foo everywhere. Right. Specifically, I would like to focus on the areas where the objects used to be. Okay. What are you looking for as you cast Detect Magic? I'm looking for residual uh, arcane energy from spells or uh, items that could have been used to remove the items. Okay. Uh, roll Investigation. There it is. 27. Nice. Investigate well, everything we did, too. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, uh, there is no, like, uh, like you're, the, if there was any residual magic to be had, um, to be seen, it, it is long gone. Like, you would have to be, like, within, like, maybe, like, a half hour to an hour to maybe even see, like, a little, like, glitter of what used to be. Uh, but... With that crazy investigation check, you do poke your. Uh, is it? Is it? Do you actually have a nose, or is it metal nose? I do have a nose. Okay, so you poke your uh, your nose around the area, and um, 
you have to sigh a little bit as you just find like little bits of like white hairs everywhere. And if you remember heavy neck, this heavy neck had white blue skin with white hair. And it was just the right length to that you can remember. Of course. You find them all over the place. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say anything about this. Okay. Um what did you find? I do not see any traces of residual arcane energy as to how these items were removed. However, uh, I have another possible useful. option. If and... you will give me a few moments, um, and this you can you can nix this if you want to, as D. <clears throat> I, I'm gonna pull a, a needle out of my tool pouch, and on a very small amount of skin that is remaining on one of my arms, I'm going to start tattooing myself. Um, and I'm going to use my spell rot tattoo. Okay, how long does it take to cast that? It doesn't say, so that's what... Uh... That I mean, that I mean, I've gotten tat plenty of tattoos. It takes hours to get those, buddy. Yeah, but those aren't right. magical tattoos. But it, it's... <laughs> it's an item, Ooh. isn't it? Like an actual yeah, item. If... Yeah, the, the yeah. item you just touch and it's it a needle a that, oh, that it? makes okay, it, it that on. makes wait, it a wait. tattoo. Oh, so, that's cool. I want um, that. I'm, and the life. spell I'm gonna the spell I'm gonna tattoo on me is locate object. Okay, cool. But I mean, you're welcome to roll for how long that takes or whatever. I, I no no if it's if it's if it's the language is there it's you know I'm not gonna fight it. Tasha's cauldron, yeah. Okay, yeah, so uh, as you touch it to your skin, it almost, like, snakes its way underneath, and you watch it just kind of, like, slowly build itself onto your skin. Um, you now have that for, what is it? Until oh, yeah. I use it. Oh, until you use it. Okay, cool. And so now that you have it. Finn goes wide-eyed watching this happen. You're right. <laughs> Did you know he could do that? And then I'm going to just... Press it, like take my index finger and touch it, and it's gonna glow and disappear. And I'm gonna say, please describe the object in as much detail as possible. Well, the dragon ruby is a ruby that is made of one solid piece. It is carved to look like a dragon head, and it is about two feet length. Uh, one and a half foot in height and about about a foot in depth. It is a looks. It is de a depiction of a dragon skull. Um. Do I get any sense of? So I just reread this. I might actually have to have tattooed him because he knows the object. Uh, oh, that's not happening. You're not touching him with shit. I thought as long would, as you had a general would his, idea. It's, it's, yeah. it's okay, familiar to you, so like if he it, describes it well enough, in theory... Yeah, that would be familiar. Okay. Well, yeah, I don't know. You must so, hold the eagle against your skin. No, I'm talking about locate object. Oh, locate object. I mean, the rest of us saw it last night. Yeah. They did. Okay, then then um, rather than tattooing myself, we'll rewind a little bit, I'll say... Who of you saw one of these objects? Yeah, who wants to get pricked by his needle? <clears throat> I saw it, but I, I can't say that I quite remember what it looked like. Who wants? Uh, let everybody who is uh, in attendance roll a history check. Not bad. I already failed mine, so I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm just going to turn to Sheila and say, hold out your hand. Why? Nice. I don't remember shit. <laughs> I'm going to allow us to hopefully find one of these objects. This right, may prick. Why are you using your weird robot hand? Unfortunately, I think it's just his hand now. You don't. I mean, unfortunately, weird both of my hands—one is entirely, and one is mostly. This is just knocked in now. 
What is this RoboCop shit? What's a RoboCop? Right. That Jesus. It's a li- you guys don't understand my language sometimes. <laughs> oh, I think I think I read that one. <laughs> you read you read <clears throat> Oglo Cop. It's I like so. from another reality. So while I she's just... like just like ogling my mechanisms, you just stick her. <laughs> I'm gonna just start. I'm just gonna like poke it against her arm, and that spell is going to sort of materialize, and then I'm gonna just say, imagine the object. And touch the tattoo, Sheila. Sheila? I'm imagining and touching. And it right. glows, probably burns a little bit, and then dissipates. And you oh. should have a sense of the direction that the object is in if the spell worked. You try like i mean you like you look around she you're like looking at the out the window you're like looking at like everything and just like i don't feel anything nothing like i don't you're not you don't feel pulled in any direction do you feel anything okay okay i have so, some uh news. do we have to like what that, go ahead that that is probably unwelcome and i was just checking to see if you wanted to hear it i always oh, why would we not want to hear it to work for anything who is this stuff. guy would you just speak it seems it that either there are protections in place or the objects you seek are not on this plane That is where we landed. He must have escaped to another plane. But he can't do that. He doesn't have the ability to do that. Uh, How do you know that? Uh, What happens is he split. What if you don't know the things he can do? What do you mean he split? Since he split from us, we don't know what he's been doing. Roll deception. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> ah. yeah. No, I believe that you are not talking about that. What do you mean, split? So Sheila is not very good with words, so she probably did mean when he left. Oh boy, Do, so my guys, I will give you one tiny little deception check at disadvantage. What? This is just a aided uh, original check. I suck. He at this already, shit dude. Anyway. You want to? You want to tell Gildas what to think? He's already made up his mind. Go ahead. The disadvantage. <gasps> that twenty. Not gonna no, I'm not gonna roll. No, because I'd have to get two net twenties. <laughs> so that's fine. Yeah. Could it have been the gif? The gif? That's what I'm saying. He split with the gif. The gif are an interplanar species that have been, that we have found throughout our plane, stealing people and resources and returning to the astral plane. I and haven't. You guys we haven't heard with them. No. No, I would like to kill every last gif that I find. So why um, would he work with them? Would he work with them, or could they have just by chance shown up and taken stuff and kidnapped him in the process? So your answer is the gith randomly showed up and stole him. There and was a while. Stuff. And our stuff. So while he was stealing from both of us, some random entity came in and stole him. Not buying it. Listen, I'm, listen. I'll be honest, listen. I'm not buying it either. I don't entirely All know. Right. When I said split, what I'm talking about is heavy neck split into two different personalities. And sometimes he's Jeremy and sometimes he's heavy neck. So when I'm saying he's split, he's split into his other personality. I like this is an accurate assessment. No. I'm starting to see smoke coming out of his ears. Are there any places <laughs> in this town 
that are not able to be scried upon? I don't know. That was the next place. There, that was the next location I was going to go, is we need to go make rounds around town. Is now, there anywhere that you've, tr- I assume you've tried to scry are there any everywhere around? Rooms? Is there anywhere that you try to scry on that you got nothing back on? We should start there first. We have tried to scry on all the things that have gone missing multiple times with no luck. No, I mean, just like, why don't you essentially turn your town into a grid and have your magic people just scry on the grid until you find something maybe you can't scry on and then search that? Does that make sense? That is not a bad idea. However, time consuming. True. And I have many resources going to preparing my ship so that we can leave in a timely manner. Right, right, right. If I, like, look around on the ground, do I see anything in terms of tracks or anything that is, like, I don't know. I mean, I know I knocked on found the hair, but didn't say anything, but, like, maybe I... Yeah. No, Can I see ahead. if like there's a trail of hair, or a trail? Of... Here we go. Let's see oh, what you got. Okay. Okay. She is much lower to the ground. Yeah. True. Uh, fuck. Oh, oh, I suck at rolling. No. Oh. I didn't. Uh, I didn't build a, a very. Yeah, that would be tracking. You do okay. So you do oh. find like a white hair, but then you also find like a blonde hair, and then a brown, and then like, you now you're just like you're yeah, like now cool. you're just finding all the hairs. God, that dude, that would have been great. Um, unfortunately, no trail to be had. <clears throat> so, let us go outside. I want to talk to uh, Bobby Big Boy first. And um, you guys uh, walk down past the, uh, get onto the main floor of the Tower of the Conquered. Um, it looks like all of the guards are just kind of like scratching their heads mindlessly, trying to like be robots, looking for something that probably is not in the building. Um, they all look busy, told doors closed. Um, now you guys are outside. The weather is, let's see, let me actually roll for it. Cloudy, not too high. It's just kind of it's a little muggy. Um, it's just not like the best day in the world. So you guys can head down the hill past uh, Dagon's Manor. Um, get to the main streets, take a left, then head past the amphitheater all the way to that big old building. That's Bobby Big Boys, Bobbles and Brandy, just three B's all the way across. Um, Gildas size. This. Have you met this individual before? Anybody? No. I don't believe um, so. No, I, I think I ran into him to him one time. <laughs> he is slimy and I don't trust him. Keep your wits about you. And then he opens the door and you just hear this little burr, 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 as you guys can uh see this like fully wooded wood oak uh interior uh mostly just a complete storefront um there it's got like a little like um key island in the middle so that there are little shelvings that like come around and like uh dance around the middle uh the keyhole ends with a door in the back of the room uh the room the room is square um like perfectly square um with uh shelving on the uh, complete perimeter of it uh, and as you guys enter, you can see that there. This is pretty much like a really nice antique shop. Um, a little bit like you know nautical theme. But you hear coming from sitting in the center this massive, and I mean like five hundred pound, like Serbian, full black hair, balding. He just got like he's got this used car salesman vibe with like all these gold wrist watches or uh, not wrist watches but wrist bracelets he's got this like sort of like sweat stained t- like tank top that is just like this like off yellow and he's like hey welcome to Bobby Big Boys Bobbles and Brandy and his like belly's shaking while he's talking he goes 
do this? What could I do you for? He goes, you can save it, Bobby. I need to check your store. Stand aside. Hey, I look, I got nothing to hide. You want, you want something on the house? You want like this? Like, and he just like picks up like, he's like, this cologne would be great on you. He goes, not today. Men, <laughs> and you like, the doors open, you watch like another 18, like, well, not eight, 18 is too many, um, like 10 <laughs> uh, pa- like full plate paladins just come in and start poking their nose through all the shelves. The rest of you, uh, if you'd like to make any investigation checks or look for trails, um, you are welcome to. Uh, I'm going to go over to Nocturne, like, as nonchalantly as I can and ask him if he has any, like, small little pieces of copper wire that I could have. Just, like, one little piece is all I'd need. I'm just going to, like, reach into one of my prosthetics and peel a little, like, shred of copper off and hand it to you. Okay, cool. Thanks, bud. I'll uh, I'll let you know why I needed this if I hear anything. And then I'm just going to, like, kind of go into a room where no one is, and I'm going to send him a message. Who? Heavy neck. Okay. I'm just going to... Um, I think the message you're talking did... about sending or yeah, sending, sending where he can time. come, we can talk back to me if he is so inclined. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna ask him why did you do this? We could have helped you, and that's it. No response. Like you sit there and you wait and like eagerly. Thirty seconds. Okay. I'm just. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna yeah, go silent. back to the group. Okay. Um, with you? with my last little bit of true sight, can I go outside real quick? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna shock and grasp up in the air and see if um, Trisket is anywhere. Oh, All shit. right, oh, here we go. Um, Trisket. Roll a D- little over. his his little dragon. On a fifty five or higher, he comes. I guess like you could also roll a D twenty and just do a ten or above. Nope. Oh, no. Even on a cloudy day, he's nowhere to. He's maybe you're out in the open, or no, you're in the building. He just didn't. The smells are too much. Yeah, no, I I I went outside for it. I was just like, oh "Oh." right, yeah, sorry, yep, nothing. (sighs) All right, never mind. So as we're rooting around the store, is can I like poke around like a back door or anything and see if there like I don't know how many entrances this store might have, but like. It has no. a, well, the store definitely has a rear entrance if you want to explore that. But um, I just want to look around it and see if there's anything out of the ordinary or anything. Are that... you trying to do it stealthily, or are you kind of just like, "Hey, I'm going to go outside and check this out"? No, I'd probably I'd announce it to everyone. I I okay, have no, right. I really don't have any idea what's going on. So she's not all trying right, to I'm hide anything. Sure. All right, so yeah, like um, a, two armed guards will follow you out to like you know just kind of putz around and see whatever you're looking for. So go ahead um, and roll your investigation. Uh, sorry, you were looking for a rear door. Um, it's locked. I'm not looking, like, I want to see behind the rear door. I don't know if it leads into an alleyway or anything like that. I I guess oh, here's no. here's what yeah. I, what I'm thinking sorry. is oh, Heavy Neck broke door, into the back, back door. door. Probably broke into the back door to steal whatever was in this place before leaving. So that's why I'm trying to see if like I can find any traces of him there. Okay, all right, sorry, wrong back door. I was thinking you were going out of the building and around like to the like the rear entrance. No, you were talking about that one that like is connected to the keyhole. Yeah. No, 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 no. You you ain't going back there. I got some real high price stuff and I ain't missing any of it. Gildas, I have a quick uh question. The... No, AJ, I meant the back door of the building. Not the back. Oh door. yeah, sorry. Well, that yeah, that's just going to connect you to like a hallway that will then connect you back to the main storefront. Oh, so the building, the storefront only has one door to get into the building. No, there's two. There's a front door and a back door, and then like the, it goes to like the main storefront area where you are, Yo. and then off to like your left is a hallway that connects to the back door. It's a fit like you know the building's like not that big. Okay. And that one goes into like a back alleyway, or it's a freestanding building. Oh, so, okay, uh, so there's nothing yeah. around it. Okay. I mean, yeah, right. I mean, there's a few, but they're like you know, 
20 feet away. Okay, so that... Okay, never mind then. I figured there might be somewhere where he would have snuck into, but... I mean, if you look around, there are alleyways, but, like, if you look around just this, the perimeter of this building, there's, like, a good 20 feet around it that there's no, like, building cover or anything like that. Okay, all right. All right, so I, I missed that there there's a keyhole, there's a door with a keyhole that goes into, like, a secret room or something? So, they, like... Bobby Big Boy is sitting in like the middle kiosk area, okay. which has yeah. like a circular desk around him. Okay. But that area has like a it continues back straight so that he can get out of that circle and it comes <clears throat> to like a little secret like employees area behind the desk. And if you okay. look behind and if like on the back wall behind him or behind that like employee area is a door that leads to something else. All right. Um as Julia goes or as Julia goes outside, can I like wait for her outside the front door? Yeah, you can. And then when she comes back, I'm I'm just gonna be like, Julia, can you still do that uh that thing that you do the um Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, can you go search that room in uh in there behind him? <laughs> Did you say this is just like out loud to everyone? <laughs> I mean the the uh I'm sure the pa the two paladins behind you would have heard it. Yeah. And I, I'm not trying to be like sneaky to them. I'm trying to be sneaky to this guy that works here. I'm gonna, and I'm just gonna be like, can can you do me a solid? I'm gonna, and I'm gonna touch uh, Julia's shoulder, and Julia's gonna go invisible, or greater Ooh. invisible. Hey, and I'm just gonna be like, you have one minute. She's just gonna be be like, fuck, and just uh... yeah. So as you as you cast invisibility, and the guards watch you do it. They go. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's smart. Hey, man. You, yo, he's got good shit back there. You should probably just grab it. You didn't hear it from me. Like, <laughs> they, like, they both like kind of like just like turn, turn and, like turn the other way and go around like oh, to the back. That's amazing. Uh, I'm gonna. Bobby Big Boy's got a big personality. Not a lot of people like. Okay, turn okay. to uh, Gildas and say, "Is there a reason we are searching this place, or are you aware of a lead-lined room?" Um, I'm just searching. I started all of my searches from the places where there's the most valuable things. Oh, you know that I got all the valuable. This was merely the closest stop. <laughs> <laughs> Sheila, are you detecting? Nice shit, are you detecting any pulls? Am I detecting any pulls? You are pull, not. Pull. Are, I mean, are, can you change the the what you're looking for, or like once you set it, is it? Uh, I think it's just the one object, so I'd have to like cast it again, and and okay, I'm not gonna say that I could do that. Because I was going to say, well, you did. You still haven't mentioned any hair to anybody, have you, Nocton? Uh, <clears throat> no. Okay. Not not yet. I'm still looking for other hairs around, though, so I suppose I should roll another investigation. Twenty-seven. Okay. I mean. Unfortunately, you're in an uber public place, so there's multiple hairs that be could that could be thought of as his. So I in a heavily trafficked area. Yes, walk Julia. through the wall. <laughs> All the right. So you uh, phase through the back room and get into this area. It is a dimly lit, like, it's actually got a little bit of taste to it with the lighting. Uh, nice, cool blue and green. Um, it is a, like, perfectly square, like, mini room that has these velvet cases that have glass doors on all of them. And you can see just, like, artistically hung are much nicer. Like, we're talking, like, a battle axe, a long sword, a staff. There's a set of like, it kind of looks like antique armor, but still looks a little nice. There are like uh, little uh, golden amulet necklaces. There's little bangles. There's like circlets. They, it looks like this is like where he keeps all of this nice stuff. Does it look like any spots are missing? Like a hole well, or an it's... empty spot? Okay. Finally. Um, you don't notice anything is missing, um, but with an investigation check like that, I would say that you are able to find, um, it is something that kind of like, 
you've i want to say with an event with, with that score roll a history check for me uh, on that 20. <laughs> good um so you recognize um this necklace as a like it's got a like an inscription on it and you pull it to you luckily it's elvish and this is actually an amulet of locate object oh that's convenient it's like a little tiny like gemstone that hangs from like huh. a silver chain but like it's got all of the little like inscriptions around it you can only use it like once per day but she'll see that wrap it up and stuff it in like a pocket or something yeah um but nothing there's nothing else out of the ordinary in here no i mean like unfortunately like this he never was here so like any, okay. you're not going to find anything of note in here but you did were able to find like something really nice uh finn's gonna subtle cast message while she's in there and be like if you see any rubies, can you just like grab them? <laughs> Do I see any rubies? He does have a little crystal chest. So there's like a bunch of like carved uh, quartz obelisks <laughs> and hey a bunch of other rubies and emeralds. Object necklace. Uh, yeah, if I see anything, I'll just grab it and throw it in my bag. Okay, uh, you just start to stuff it in your bag. Uh, now that you like it, a couple minutes go by, what are you doing with it? What do you mean? Oh, now that I've... Like, what are you doing? What am I doing now that I'm yeah. full of stuff and stuck in this yeah. locked cell? Yeah, that's going to be the great part because I can't... Yeah, how do you get out, my dude? So is there any... It's it's a it's a solid room. I assume there's no yeah. windows or nope. anything like that. Um, are there any cracks or tiny little like slivers of space I could see through out, to outside of the room? A roll perception check. Oh, please, God. Fuck. No, unfortunately. I, I just live this here is now. The only room, this is the only room he put a lot of construction thought into, so, like, it's a fairly tight-seamed area. Okay. Uh, now what? Just hang out until everyone leaves. Okay. Finn's right, gonna, so Finn's gonna message again after a minute goes by and be like, uh, All right, you you can get out, right? Uh, no. <laughs> I I don't I don't know if she can respond to that. No, can I can't get out. Message. But I have an idea. Don't worry. Maybe if you can get him to open the door, just a crack. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hide. <laughs> oh my God. She's gonna try and hide in a spot where she can see through the door <gasps> if it opens. Um. Julia, can can you roll me a D four, by the way? <laughs> of course, uh, it's booby trapped. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh no, the doors are definitely trapped. I mean, you walked into a, a locked room with, you know, goodies. Someone who had magic <laughs> items. Uh, I yeah. haven't tried to open the door. Just as I know, I know, I know, okay, I know, right, I, know okay. I, I know you haven't done that. Don't worry. There you go. All right, so, <laughs> you're, only, so oh. you're only able to grab a uh, hundred gold pieces worth of usable gems and you're oh, okay. quick like kind of like shelving um now that you're now that we got that out of the way uh finn what are you doing finn's finn's gonna message gildas okay and so he's gonna subtle message gildas and be like there's nothing in the locked room but we need the door open real quick please <laughs> He just like walks up like inches in front. Bobby Big's like, "Hey, what's going on?" What are you? And he goes, "You are going to open that door, and you will let me inspect that room, or I will carve your fat ass up for my next dinner." Is that clear? Uh. I have like the dude. Let's you know. Let's roll just for fun. <laughs> for fun. <laughs> he all but shits his fucking pants. Yeah. And he's just like, hey, I was gonna open the book. Hey, hey, boss. Okay, that's that's fine. I'm I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm gonna do the thing. Just which just just calm down. And like he is, dude. Like I mean, he was sweating before just because he just doesn't stop sweating. But like <laughs> his shirt is tre like it's dripping off of his nose. 
and he's just like scrambling for the door. His fingers are so greasy. He's just like slipping on. He's like finally just like, it's like oh, right. And he like pulls out a key from like a necklace that was like underneath his shirt and just like <laughs> unlocks it. Julia, you can hear him scrambling on the other side, like failing. But eventually just, so the second I can get like the tiniest visual of a hole through it, I'm going to misty step to like behind Finn. Okay, perfect. Um, nice. So you're, there's a greater invisibility, correct? Uh, yeah. I don't think it's. I don't. But I think it. I don't. I, think I don't know if it would. It. It, it, it would have run, run out after yeah. a minute. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm hoping that like it's one of those things that, like, I get a crack of the door before he even notices I'm there, and then by the time the door opens, right, I'm already gone. All right. I will give you. All right. So, so, um, you have advantage on the roll because he's not looking at you. He is okay. like he's deathly afraid of Gildas. So just roll me a stealth check. With advantage? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 18. Yeah, without fail. I mean, he <laughs> opens the door and he's just like, yeah, here's the door. And like his head does not even turn. You're immediately... <laughs> uh, Finn, you can like, you just can feel the little bit of weight that like hits your calf as like you look down and see Julia's smiling face. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't even look down. He just he feels it and he reaches back for a fist bump. <laughs> <laughs> Very subtly. It's just like nice. Oh, nice. He goes, all, all, all right, all right. Look, look, Gildas, just like look, you you've been in here before. Look, I like, like I'm not missing anything. Um, and then he like he, he walks through and goes, "Hey, wait a minute!" As he like looks over at like his gem collection that has been ransacked, he goes. Hey, what the fuck? I've been, I've been, someone stole this shit. And he's like, turns over. He's like, no, this ain't fucking cool. Hey, hey, Gildas, what the fuck? He was just here. The guy was just, we gotta look for him. And like, he's like, I know you fucking idiot. Get out of the way and let me work. And there's like, you watch his like slippery ass just get shoved out of the room. He goes, weird metal creature get in here inspect this <laughs> i'm gonna just walk in without saying anything and i feel you like turn around and be like is he fucking me look around the um the my eye is gonna like pulse a couple times okay just, like a bit lighter a bit brighter 21 nice um as you're scouting around um Unfortunately, like you're not gonna find any heavy neck hairs, um, but you are gonna pick up a few trails of Julia's hair that she has left behind. Um, <laughs> it's like it starts getting tangled in your fingers. Um, who's, what have you found? It is likely just the remnants of a uh, number of individuals who have passed through this room. I am still unclear as to what we are looking for. I thought we... We are looking for your... F determined that he was on another plane. We are making sure he is not here in any way, shape, or form. He is not here. I can definitively say he is not in this room. Okay. All right. So, uh, Noxon, how about you roll me a persuasion check? <laughs> Yeah. He could not do well. Well, okay, never mind. I only do that. <clears throat> if you can come up with a better reason not to search this town top to bottom, I'd like to hear it. Otherwise, just search the places that I ask. I can definitively say he is not in this room. Thank you. Let us go. All right. So uh, a like now kind of like doesn't know where to project his anger. Like to Gildas walks out of the back room, kind of just like shaking his head. Goes all right. Let us continue on our search. Now, uh, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna go through every single nook and cranny. Of what? This Come on. Yeah. So let's take a break.
Uh, we'll come back just roll like a whole bunch with, of investigation with, <laughs> with you guys uh, going through a montage of like just like awkwardly having to like half ass search for a gnome that like you're all seemingly fairly convinced is not anywhere on this plane. Uh, but we will pick back up with you guys um, leaving a frustrated Gildas as he heads back towards the Tower of the Conqueror, telling you that you have that he won't be ready to sail at least for two days. Um, you guys are welcome to get ahead of that get ahead of him if you want. Um, but he must see to those um, operations. He leaves you, and we'll and uh, we'll pick up the break with uh, Captain Bryden and Rain uh, walking up to you guys, like in like you know the lower area of the southern docks. All right, all right. All right.
and we're back thank you guys for uh staying tuned if you are uh we are gonna jump right back into where we left off you guys had just scoured the entire town with a very increasingly angry gildas uh at the end he was basically stomping leaving footprints um but heavy neck completely got, like there's nowhere to be found like i mean any any tracking you've done has completely fallen flat he's beyond any magical means of uh locating um pretty much off this plane of existence so you guys are standing uh around the south wind docks uh the breeze is blowing uh like towards you guys coming from the water um as you see familiar faces of captain rain and captain bryden start to walk start walking towards you um they are arm locked and it looks like they have gotten some sort of like midday munchies because it's like starting to get around like three o'clock. Um, bright and mouthful. So how did that go? Well. Pretty good. Um, good well, works. we're not dead. So is that good news, bad news? Well, it's good news that we're not dead, yeah. <laughs> well yeah um is he still like gonna fight with us oh he's on a rampage but we're not currently the target of his ire yeah okay um well i mean that's good um we should probably keep it that way um for the time being. The, uh just a heads up there is a chance that if we find heavy neck uh yeah when we're, we're gonna have to kill him or he would allow him to be killed by Gildas. Um, I mean, which, which he's part he's part of my crew, so I suppose it doesn't affect you quite as much as it affects us. But yeah, I mean, to be honest, he kind of like if I remember him, he wasn't really all too nice. I mean, he could kill, I guess, but he was the original captain of. Holy our, shit! Our no crew. way! Really? Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, before I came along, it was all just quite weak people, but. Ah. Uh, <laughs> look what Finn, Finn, Finn's gonna like elbow Sheila when he says that. Um. Um. So the fleet is on standby. We were able to um, gather a fair amount of resources before Gildas's men cut us out of everything. Um, we were. <laughs> Not fully stocked. I'd say that all between the entire fleet, we're working with 50% of our stores. Should get us to Eden. Um, on a better note, um, we were able to purchase some uh, gems from, and he like points back down at Bobby Big Boy's. Uh, he goes, yeah, we, um, we apparently cleaned out Bobby Big Boy of all his gems. We were able to get... Bum, bum. We were able to get uh, 400 gold pieces worth of, like, straight ruby. But he said that's all he had. Don't ask me how I know this, but he had more in the back. Um, but I appreciate that's... that. Son of a <laughs> bitch, I knew it! Yeah, I mean, come on. A, a guy like that ain't not gonna have more shit in the back. Always. <clears throat> so uh, I do I do appreciate that, though. Uh, um, what, what does that bring our total to? Right now, you have a total of 1,100 gold pieces worth of gems. And we you needed... Need, you need 800 more. Uh, All right. We're so close. Uh, All right, so we need about 800 more gold worth of... So that's no oh, gold. Beast. Well, we can work on it. That's That's a lot more doable than it was before. I mean, you're able to teleport. Can you make a few pit stops? It's going to be a long trip until we get to... I was thinking about making a couple pit stops to uh, Port Royal. Perhaps I can uh, work some magic, so to speak. Yeah, I, okay, that's fine. Um, I Hopefully they're not too pissed with us, not com completely blowing them off. Oh, I wasn't about to announce my presence. Oh, that's probably safer. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> you're fine. 
Was there any other resources we could tap into? And like Phantasma like is elbowing uh Sheila, just like Shit. do they know about Loratas? Yeah. Do they do they know all about Loratas? Have we checked with Loratas? Can you do that? We, we, we do that. You haven't done that before. Finn is pretending they're not talking. Speaking of Loratus, <laughs> did Ishkar survive? Yes, actually. Oh, she did. wow. Yeah. You wouldn't know um, that. <laughs> she, uh, you can go find her, but she's currently not in like the general area. She did ask about you, but she like, she had a did, did yeah, not yeah, know yeah. that you ha ha does not know you have like arrived yet. Forgot you weren't here. Ishkar did survive. She is eternally grateful, and she has something for you. What? I don't know. Do you want to find out? I don't know. I would love yeah. to discover what she has in store. I am glad my last minute gambit worked. <clears throat> I am glad you didn't die in the ocean. As am I. Um, perhaps we should consider leaving sooner rather than later. I agree. I don't think it would be wise to dilly-dally around this place. Perhaps we should leave tonight. I also think that might be a wise decision. Is Gildas' boat going to be ready by then? <clears throat> no. He will have to meet us after the fact. Will our ship be ready? I can assist Xander in whatever uh, he will need the required. He will need the help. But That's uh, a good call. Why don't you help him? And Etrian is somewhere. Etrian can help too, because I think he made the first one. I do Etrian have... did it, yeah. I, I do have a question regarding the state of our ship. If yes. the protection, the scrying protection circle is now gone, and I essentially died, do we believe that I am safe from Thaddeus's eyes, assuming he does not decide to look while we are all standing in a circle speaking? Finn, Magmore, Sheila, can you all please roll Go. wisdom saves? <laughs> God, baby. Dang it. Nice. It's just Finn. Luckily, he was start standing very far away from us in his own little circle. Oh, yeah, right? 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 Exactly. Um, You're uh, muted, bud. I was standing far away from them, and I was pretending that they weren't talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Good for us. Okay. Well, here. Hold on. Let me I, make sure. As soon as I gently heard the word Loratus, I was like, nope. Not going to talk to about that in front of other people. Hold on, let me see. Dun, dun, dun. This is the amount of area that it can sense. You were there. The sensor moves with the target range within 10 feet of it. How big is the area of sight? That's I think it's, it's intended to be just the person, right? Isn't that kind of the... Well, there's like, there's the they're the person, and then there's like, because it's a sensing a 10-foot area. Maybe it's just a 5-foot radius? Yeah, that sounds about right. I think it'll just pick up like the, like, it's, I'd say like within melee distance of Finn. Finn, if... I'll give it to you that you were could distance yourself enough. So it would pick up Bryden and Rain. Yeah, a little bit. Um, but you just hear in your head as I stumble back towards where's my fucking mouse? I find it very interesting. You guys are doing shit and sea salt hanging out with the salt king and i hear and here i thought you were smart oh good you're here i've been meaning to try something anti-magic field nice <laughs> I mean, it is a very visual effect, as... and I, I I watch all of the all of the ether around me just goes, 
Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like oil and water just shoots it all out yep. to the radius. Um, everybody is taken aback. Um, it you is cut invisible. off, you, you sever the scrying immediately from the area. Um, Gildas, take, no, Gildas is gone. Bright and Rain just like are like stumble backwards. Everyone else, you watch uh, a ethereal, mid, like smoky uh, orb just shoot out, emanating directly from Finn that um, is clearly magical in effect. Happening almost without warning. Well, not almost. Happening without warning. Would I know what an anti anti magic field is? Being magical myself. Roll an arcana check. Wait. So you said we can see the sphere? <laughs> yeah, the sphere is a visible thing. Invisible sphere. Invisible In sphere invisible. of anti magic. Invisible. Yep. Invisible. Yeah. Sorry. Invisible. Um, yeah. I I'm gonna say I was within twenty feet of him, so or within that ten foot radius, and. I'm just gonna fall over. Ah. Oh, so his legs gonna give out. Yeah, <laughs> Julia is gonna like run over the second she sees knockdown hit the ground. Uh, Fantastic's gonna roll a deck save. Try and catch you. Oh yeah, take him. Oh wait. Oh nope, can't do it. Oh nice. The Baroness swoops in, picks you up, and just like right on it, like holds you like right on her shoulder, and then pulls you back upright, gets you out of, well, like pulls you away from Finn, seeing like whatever just went off, and then eventually, like as she gets out of the radius, like you regain all of your functions of all of your like body. Would an eighteen be like... notice what he's doing? Yeah. An 18 would, I mean, can you, do you eventually learn anti-magic field? I don't think so. Let me check. It's, thank you. Oh, no, uh, I, I have the ability to prepare it. I literally learned it this level. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so you um i mean i'd say you probably get a hint of like just like the little bit of like after effect that happens after the mm -hmm. spell is cast based upon that section in your book that you totally read all the time right <laughs> i'll just be like i'm just gonna look at Twitter and be like was he doing a thing yep it was in my head was he in did, anybody else's head did that work what he you just did not. uh he well he fucking stopped I know I, uh, he wasn't talking to me. However, he knows where we are. That's, yeah, well, I feel like he's always known, generally. And he said he said something along the lines of, oh, you're talking to the Salt King. I thought you were smart. Well, I mean, it's not the best move we could make, but it's the only move we could make. I feel like I have some context that is missing. However, I will trust you all to enlighten me eventually. Well, we should probably, I think Finn is right. We should probably get going. Um, because now we know where we are for sure. Right, quick. While I have just... while I have the lot of you here, is it a mis was it a mistake to come to him? Or should I have just not at all? To the Salt King? Yes. Is Gildas going to betray us in the last moment and sell us out to Thaddeus for safety? I don't I don't know. We, but we can keep an eye and investigate him. The Should only we way behind? the only way we're gonna know is if it happens at <clears throat> this point. Alright, no, that's fair. I just I made a decision and you know didn't really consult, so I wanted just wanted to make sure everyone was uh, kinda on the same page. I think that we can trust him to look out for his best interest. And in his best interest, he needs us just as much as we need him. So as I think, I mean, obviously, I think that maybe we should keep our like, wits long, about this. As long as we're useful to him, I think we'll be okay. <clears throat> I agree. I did do kind of a couple strategic displays of power today just for the sake of allowing him to know that if he fucks us over we're coming for him i can't quite oh. say that to him like a, like in the same way that i said it to nostradamus but yeah. he knows i think he knows trust me he knows he, i i assume that he would thinks everybody is trying to kill him because he's that narcissistic <clears throat> and we may still 
you guys seen? Oh, I would love to. I'm not. I'm not going to get it wrong. <laughs> I, would abso- I would absolutely love to see him dead. But in these moments where our interests align, perhaps. Uh... Enemy okay. of my enemy Hopefully. is a friend. Yeah. Like, right. We should. I do, I do trust Nostradamus, though. I think that man is the person we probably try to work through. I think the less interacting with Gildas, the better. Yeah, you're probably right. All right, so we should uh, dip tonight, yeah? I think we should. Um, I um, we do, Are we around, like, other people, or are we just, like, talking amongst ourselves right now? Yeah, I mean, you have a small little, like, circle of people, like, that, like a little group on, like, the like dirt path that's next to the pier. But, like, yeah, people are walking mm-hmm. around, but, like... Okay. People are definitely seemingly keeping their distance and also like a little bit, probably a little bit sparse compared to like, because of all this hefty surveillance that's happening. I just like keep my voice like lower, but like, do we want to talk to a little Loratus about this? That might not be the worst idea and he might be able to get us the remaining rubies that we need. And I think he could probably help us with the glyph if we asked. You think he knows how to plane shift? Think Do I think he knows how to plane shift? Fuck Are you serious, Magmore? Yeah. And of course serious. he knows how to plane he shift. He knows like inside the head. He, he, listen, I know he knows like all of all of the spells. You know, you it's... you could probably plane shift if you wanted to. Yeah, if you. If, if... I don't have anything attuned to other planes. Otherwise, yes. Oh, I okay, could do that. that's fair. Yeah, well, that's fine. We should, I'm sure. Look, we, maybe we just find something. Wait, I'm does sure Nocturne have something? Have something. Does Nocton have anything attuned to another plane? But like, it would have to be attuned to I do probably not. have like wherever. Because yeah. well, okay, wherever is there anything neck. of heavy necks on the boat? That Isn't heavy be... neck attuned to another plane? Oh, uh, wouldn't Jeremy? Hmm. Jeremy would not be because he was created in. Oh wait, no, was Jeremy transported to this plane? Jeremy was transported f- another realm into this plane into this world. But I mean. The, the particulars have not actually been sorted about about exactly where he was prior to this universe, right. but it it could be a plane, it could be a universe, it could be something else. Like, so you don't know. But yes, it did. Mm-hmm. It it the way he described it definitely seems like he came from another plane of existence. All right. Well, let's get that boat fixed and let's get out of here. All right, well, let's go. Um, I'm going to go get us dinner. Um, I'm going to go check in with Azariah because um, do you guys want anything in particular? Do you, do you think that any of heavy stuff is attuned to his plane, like in his room? He does. But, I mean, it's on him. Sorry. You can go check the captain's quarters if you want. Yeah, I'm going to go investigate that, see if I can. Okay, pick so you guys all are going like to go that. ahead and get on to the Terror of the Deep? Right quick, before we do that, um, can anybody else magic circle? Or t- teleportation magic. circle? I think that's just you, Finn. Yeah, I, think, sorry, I think Etrian could, but... I am thinking we should maybe go to Loratus first and get that glyph fixed before we get on the boat. That's probably Thoughts? a good idea. I, I, so we can't that's get fine, but I also think that maybe we should uh, entertain the idea that we might not have the time. It might not get fixed in hours. It might be like a couple of days. I'm just trying to set our expectations. Oh, but I, right. Yeah, I, I think we should go first. Okay. All right. All right, give me, uh, give me a minute here. All and, right, you can... And... Finn is going to turn some um, spell slots into uh, sorcery points, and then he's going to turn some sorcery points into spells. Nice. Do the good old hot swap. Upgrade. <laughs> yep. All right, um, so you go actually find that, that other building that you've teleported out of uh, before in the lower, like, shitty district. It's not too far away. You make oh, yourself- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, unless you want to do it out in the open. I mean, yeah, let's just, let's just go into you. that building. Just let me know how it goes. I just, I was assuming you were trying to do it out of the way. Yeah, we might as well go in here. All right. Uh, oh, good. Oh, good. My circle's still pretty much there. Let me just touch it, it up like a half, bit. I was going to say, it's like half there. All right. So it'll take, uh, you know, 30 seconds instead of a minute. 
<laughs> nice. And you are teleporting without warning to Loratus's. Sorry, we're here without warning. I know we're Again. supposed to call ahead. I know we're supposed to call ahead. I'm sorry. I just didn't have time. Damn! It's important. <laughs> hey, kids! Fit in the party! This poor guy. <laughs> and then you're just going to hear a bunch of commotion as, like, Dragonborn kids first. Um, actually, I want to <laughs> take that back. He says, The party's here! As, like, um... <laughs> The, the welcoming party finally comes in, um, followed by a um, looking like he's uh, wearing like not his like leisurely robes. It looks like he's maybe like been traveling because it like a little bit more of like a like, like he's got pants and a shirt on. Um, uh, always without the warning, you guys. <clears throat> I couldn't send that spell because I had an anti magic field on me, and then I get had out, the opportunity. Get out, get out, get out, get out, and all the kids just like pile out. As, like, <laughs> they all give you hugs. The one just like won't let go of you, Sheila, and he just like get the rips her off. I'm sorry. Continue. Mara Uta is not here, and it's been stressful. Apologies. Um. Yeah, I hadn't. Uh, we were being scryed on. I had an anti magic field. Figured it might be best to go somewhere that uh, cannot be scryed upon, so we came here. Uh, so times are getting tough. Times are getting tough. Our ship was uh, raided, looted, ransacked, uh, and they took our uh, glyph of protection. We are working on another one. We have somebody on our ship now working on another one. Uh, we are hoping you could possibly help. What happened? Uh, oh. Somebody ra somebody somehow ransacked our ship and and oh. destroyed our glyph of protection and took all of the rubies and broke into our safe and took our diamonds and rubies and anything that we had in there. Also uh, killed Toland. Toland's dead. Uh, Heavy Neck is missing. Uh, and Gildas the Salt King uh, wants somebody's head for it. So it's a delicate moment. Have you... Can you locate? You said heavy no. is We don't think he's on this plane. Anymore. He's either not on this plane or he's somewhere that cannot be scryed upon. Yeah. Because that tether between Jeremy and him is somehow severed. I'm sorry. The, the tether is severed. You can't Se find heavy neck. Correct. Kind of floating around Jeremy. Yeah, it's wisping. Does heavy neck... There, and you watch as like his eyes start to narrow and his voice deepens. Do you have any suspects in this case? No. Heavy neck. Heavy neck. It's a us. Uh, well, somebody took all our shit. Somebody took shit from the uh, from the Salt King's tower, and. Uh, somebody stole from another guy. Oh, wait, no, we stole from him. So, no, yeah, I, I guess agree. it's just the two. I feel like I'm not getting all of the information, but it may be of note. I'm also missing something very important. By any chance, is it rubies? No. Oh, okay. Because that was kind of the theme that was going. But it does explain why you can't find him. And like you see fire shoot out of his nose. And he like just mage hand like, angrily mage hands a empty vel like purple velvet box that is like open and it has like it looks like it's a jewelry box. Would you happen to know what was inside these? Did he steal from you too? Gems of some kind, I would assume. He's like the the case snaps shut in his hand. I believe you these, are going to tell us. These were two earrings that allowed for someone to pass undetected. And they have recently gone missing. 
this is not Can meant to explain that. This is not meant in any way, but you're sure that Mara Uta does not currently have them. No, we had a fight about it. Gotcha. And he crushes the case. I truly have no idea. Yeah, honestly. He has those earrings. There's no way you're going to find them. But that might lay, that might take out the plane idea. So he's probably on this plane, just not detectable. And he's stealing rubies and gems to make something else non-detectable? I don't know, but that does seem like a we could plan it. I know he was circling. Wait, he was looking at. He was. Okay, I'd like to come clean about this. You guys all know about his soul gem idea, right? Uh, I don't know if Finn knows about that. Huh. He had secrets. That man asked me to transfer a living soul into his weapon. And the only way to do that, I found through his investigation, was to do it with a very large amount of gems. Think he's doing that? Whose soul? I don't know. Some asshole he said he killed. So he would pick now, in this moment, right before everything? I have no idea. He would steal from a grand wizard and the salt king he and would steal fucking... from a dragon and me what if he's gonna try and kill jeremy to get his soul back what would that do put him fully back together that i don't even have time to explain to you how that doesn't make sense it would probably make sense to heavy neck but that is still true it? he is not a very intelligent gnome but why would he kill Tolland? That's a good point. Do we have a way to bring Tallinn back to life so that he can tell us who killed him? Because we don't have diamonds anymore. If, uh, uh, what I have noticed is if he was stabbed in the back or the front when I saw his body. Oh, he was stabbed. He was pierced multiple times and slashed a, like a hundred times. So I couldn't tell. Okay. Got it. Yeah, it's like, I mean, he was a compl- like, his skin was completely lacerated. All right. <clears throat> Uh, Loratus, uh, he goes, I will check one moment, please. Some snacks. And he just like angrily summons <laughs> like, a, like a whole spread, a whole spread of like cinnamon rolls, brownies, cookies, like a whole bunch of comfort foods. And he like angrily grabs like a little cheesecake and stuffs it in his mouth. <laughs> Loratus, is, is, is Ishkar here? Who? No, Ishkar. Ish- Ishkar's back on back at Sea Salt. Uh, thank you. Thank have time you. for this, and he disappears immediately. Uh, <laughs> I cannot get a read later, on that man. Yeah, it's impossible. Like he just gave us. He's so angry. He made snacks. Yeah, <laughs> he still likes you guys. <laughs> um, and he knows that you guys don't do like it's like it's a comparing thing. He's just like I know you don't do well. <laughs> come here with problems like just eat all right fine i'll figure yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. he comes back with what should i say he came back with he can scrap together 600 worth of rubies but he will warn you i'm going to have to cut you off this that's fair if you just for the safety of everything i think it best that i will help you complete this protection but but after i think it's best that we keep our distance until this daddy's problem is solved and at least until you can find heavy neck. Yeah. Do you, do you know um, of any way to get around those earrings? Any, no. any way? 
Why do you think I had them? Yeah, okay. We best get going. All right, can, uh, hmm. Any way you could possibly resurrect Holland when we're there? Or no? Is that I part of the cutoff? I heard what you said, and I do not have any diamonds. That's totally fair. Neither do we. All right. They are rare Maybe for a reason. Maybe Gildas does. <laughs> Who? I mean, isn't or, that uh, not, yeah. Salt King Man? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure is. Yeah. All I know is that he calls himself a king, so kings usually have something. Yeah, well, yeah. It's hard to tell with this one. Yeah, all right. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm... This, you are letting your anger cut your judgment. I know where you can find the rest of your gems. Etrian is going to be pissed, though. He'll be fine. Can you follow me? Uh, he brings you into a room that seems like it's just like a hallway closet, and it opens up to this massive, like white tiled room where he has been constructing this the crystalline skull and a couple oh, vertebrae that you guys had gotten from the chaos dragon that you killed in Metaposse. He is currently working on animating it so it shoots different flames and different colors and it like moves around like it's alive. And it, when I tell you this is a adult dragon skull, it's like we're talking six to seven feet in length. Like when you put it on the ground, it's like four to five feet high, four feet wide. Like it's actually way longer if you count the horns. Uh, it's a massive piece of arc pure arcane crystal. And Lorotus goes, I do believe that you could use some of that. That'll, that'll work. Yeah, I think you might be right. How much do you, I mean, how much do you need volume-wise? Uh, but however much you think a thousand gold. You could take the job. Okay. Oh. Uh, out of game, why uh, is Etrian going to be pissed? Uh, because he wanted to sell this to a guy in Port Royal so that he could get a discount on a ring of spells free. You, I think it's a ring of free action or a ring of spell story, and I can't remember. It was so long ago. Got it. Thank you. I do believe you could use that. What in the fuck is this? Have you had it's this the whole time? You guys. I've never okay. seen this shit. Well, it was going to, I mean, I thought Etrian had told you, you, I mean. Did he tell us? This secrets. is quite a valuable piece here. <clears throat> secrets, everyone has the secrets. Yes, it's absolutely right. priceless. But I don't have any secrets can't. like that. And he just reaches up and just kind of like <clears throat> takes it out of like whatever holding position it was in. As you watch like a few glyphs just like shatter into the ether moves it around, holds it up to him. It's basically like from hip to head and like full of like full set of teeth. <clears throat> Actually, I'd probably say it even goes longer. It probably goes to like the back of the knee to the top of the head. So it's a massive fucking thing. Xander is going to lose his fucking mind. All right. All right. Um, also, what am I do? What am I coming to do again? Uh, we're going to do a glyph of protection. Yes. On uh, it must take a long time to do. You know that. Oh well, we. I was hoping with maybe four of you working on it, it might speed it up a bit. For accomplished mages. Well, it's you. It would be Xander who knows kind of what he's doing. Uh, <laughs> Nocturne, and uh, if we can get a hold of Etrian, then he made the first one. So. Okay, all right, and I can. I mean, I'm definitely going to have to steal this. Um, I mean, the, the thing the thing was already made, it just they somebody removed the rubies, so I suppose like that doesn't some, help. some of the work is already done. No, and he puts his hand on your shoulder. I'm, I'm that whole site is ruined. We're gonna have to, I it needs to be a brand new site. 
Perfect. The best I can give you is four to five days. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's about how long it'll take us to get to uh, Ilix. So. All right. Uh, well, excuse me. Um, I need to contact my wife. Please send our regards. He doesn't say anything back as he disappears into the room that he got the rubies from. Door closes. <clears throat> he doesn't come out of the room for like five minutes. And then all of a sudden, you hear a come from the teleportation circle room. The door swings open. Mara Uta comes. She is covered in snow. It's full parka geared, like she was just exploring the frozen tundra. Hi. Hi. Did he offer you food? He did. Yes. Okay, I'm afraid I must go. I'm sorry I cannot speak for longer. And she fucking storms out of the, like, dude, she stomps her way through the hallway. You hear mom, she goes, not right now. And like <laughs> echoes through the hall, and like all of them just fucking like cower, disappear into their little crevices as she like goes and disappears into the uh, master bedroom to um have to stop all of the progress that she was making. Um, and right as she's leaving, the doors uh opening, and Loratus is like, "Thank you, dear." Uh, door closes, and he's like. We're in a bit of a rough patch. You don't I've for everything. Um, she has given <clears throat> a maximum of five days. So let's go. Uh, and he almost uh, weirdly calm as he approaches the teleportation circle, and he's like, "Thank you, please." please I believe I. Can, I believe I can remember yours. Uh, he quickly. Uh, starts to uh, use his chalk and write out your teleportation circle to the Terror of the Deep. And as you guys all start to jump on, he goes into, like, uh, he hops along and you watch as the door opens and, like, a stack full of dragonborn heads pop in and watch you guys all pop out of existence or, you know, pop out of there and then mo go back to the Terror of the Deep. Uh, you guys land. <laughs> Uh, Xander is already, you can hear just the whirring of <laughs> as he is grinding up all of the gems that he had into like a nice evenly distributed <clears throat> powder and he just oh you're back Whoa. you must be Loratus it is a pleasure and he like does this like kind of like graceful bow <laughs> to meet someone that these people speak so highly of. And I heard you have probably saved their life more than once. And he just holds out his hand. It's like, I heard we're gonna be working together. I'm very excited. And Loratus <laughs> just looks him up and down and goes, eager, humans usually are. And he holds out his <laughs> hand, it's like very <laughs> power move. And they shake, Xander's hand gets crushed, but whatever. Um, just, well, um, so I figured um, I couldn't really do all of the, the heavy lifting arcanely speaking. I figured that was going to be your bag um, since, but I can get all the prep work done if you just tell me exactly what the specs and what those need to look like. And I, I can grab knock and then like we could like, we could do the, the prepping and then you do the lane and he just holds his finger up and goes, you could slow down just a little bit. I do need to take in the scene here. And he just like looks over at Talon's dead body. I cannot believe this happened to you guys. It's like bad luck follows you around. Yeah, it's kind of where I'm out. All right, let's get to work. Um, so uh, it's right around nine o'clock. Uh, do you guys want to, this is the perfect time to like hit the hay where you guys can like listen to Loratus 
Noctun, Xander, and Etrian sort of toil away at at least getting the groundwork laid to get this glyph of protection up and running. Um, It will take, actually here, let's roll a d20 with advantage. Nice. All right, so it's a four-day venture. They're going to work through the night. The the best case scenario with, like, at least, thank God you guys brought Loradison on this. Um, So you guys will have it a day after you get to Elix. Um, But for the time being, you guys can um, all sort of find your respective areas on the ship and sort of lay down for the evening. So for the time being, like before I lay down, I just want to be like, should we try and make a habit, at least for the time being, while we're on the boat, for as little of us to be on the top deck as possible, so if we're scryed on, he can't see. That is like, probably a good idea. I mean, like if we should, there like, is the bare level. minimum on the top deck, like at all times. Yeah. Okay. I thought that's the idea was just not be on the ship at all, if you are <clears throat> under his his watch yeah it's up to you guys whatever you want to do well we're gonna have to be on the ship while we travel although be on the other ships could be on the other ship jeremy can steer yeah he knows how to drive i don't think he's seen yeah. julia so julia can assist <laughs> well julia we'd like you on the other ships with us if we're gonna stay on the other ship Let's let's give them all this space. All right. All right. I'm that, done. That uh, Lorada Sanded, does that work for you, Etrian? That does uh, not. Nocturne. Better in the quiet. Yes. Do you all know how to use the uh, the the intermast? No. You just put your hand on the mast, and it contacts the other ships in the fleet. I can oh, show him okay. how to use it. Um, perfect. That works with the wind. All right. We should be on Bryden's ship, so. All right. Just, so you guys you know. all follow your way out. <clears throat> yeah. How much do I have? No, I can't. Oh uh, no, we can't do it. So we're gonna have to um. Swim. Swim. Yeah. Mm, nice. The old-fashioned way. Uh, you yeah. guys. Um, and it's been a while. I've spoiled you all. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Just to so, be like, see, I'm learning. <laughs> all right, perfect. Um, so, <laughs> Sheila, as you guys are starting to like get yourself, you guys are like having this conversation about what to do, and you guys shouldn't be on the ship. You're kind of just hanging out and you're sitting in your big ass like coil rope bed that you always sit in and like you adjust your weight a little bit and you feel something just hit you in your ass cheek. And you look down, you move a few of the (coughs) the rope away, you see a little box, a little piece of like um, wood that has a pearl earring on it. You see a sending stone, the other sending stone that Heavy Neck had, and you see a parchment note rolled up next to the earring. Like this thing is tucked way down underneath. The only like you're the only thing that could have been like moved and shifted around, and your weight hit that. What do you do? gonna open it you just pick it up and open it yeah all right do you do this subtly yeah (laughs) like you're are you trying to like are you trying to make it so that nobody sees you reading this or are you like just like being like yeah i just found this what are you doing oh no no i'm just like gonna like roll over in my ropes bed Okay. And no one's gonna be able to see me over my shoulders. They're just gonna so think I'm a loop and hanging out per usual. So roll stealth check, baby. <laughs> hey, nice. 
Nice. All right. Damn. Big shoulders. And he yeah. for real. So, um, assuming well, even I, I wouldn't see that. Well, <laughs> I am gonna send you a message of what is written on this piece of paper. It is up oh, to you boy. if you are willing to share. And I think that's the best time to end it, as you guys all sort of like, like get yourselves together. Sheila, you can like just throw the three items that you found into like one of your pockets, uh, and you can uh, quickly leave with the rest of them and get your way onto the cheap trick with Bryden. Bryden comes back from the bar, a little tipsy, um, not really, didn't think you guys were to leave like this early, but he's like, all right, fine, I'll, bl I'll blow the whistle, we'll get it going. Uh, and you guys can get the fleet moving away from Port of Seesaw and get it on to the water. Uh, you notified Jeremy, let him, he pulls and he starts and he'll head you guys off as you guys head southwest down the coast towards Ilix. Woo! Woohoo! Right. And uh, that that's where we'll call it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, we will be back next week, same time, same place. Hopefully, all of these lovely people to see and play more D&D &D with. So thank you, and you guys have a good one.